So after surviving the uh, beryllium oxide episode, I've got these two big ass magnets. Really, really, really powerful. Not really, just big I guess you could say. Anyway, let's conduct some experiments with these because I'm just interested to uh, see what happens when you muck around with magnets and you listen to people who, I don't know, really don't seem to make sense. Sort of, you know, going against the laws of science, physics and chemistry and all that sort of stuff. Are these a polarizing device? I'll talk a little bit later about how such an idea broke a partnership between a major car manufacturer and one of Australia's top racing car drivers. Uh, the abundance of idiots is surely going to keep me making great videos. Okay, for the point of scientific relevance, it could be said that there's flaws in this experiment, but uh, there's the fuel line that I've drilled through this cap of this uh, plastic bottle and uh, as you can see I hope you can see that there's not much restriction in there hoping to show you some flaws taken out of the experiment yeah it's really at this point that I'm starting to question my sanity Ugh. anyway this guy's fucking crazy okay in the worst laboratory in the southern hemisphere where you can see I've got little marks there I'm gonna top that up to that mark now I'm going to run this motor, I've already tested it, I've made sure that everything's primed in the system so that it can't be muted. So here we will put the fuel back up to that mark and I'm going to time what it takes from that to that to go down. And you'll see why. Okay, so we're running. It's on. Stopwatch is going. Oh, why do I bother? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, he says. So we're at the one, uh, the one minute mark there, as you can see, one minute 24 seconds. Everything's still running fine. Anywhere. So that can't be disputed. I thought the hot melt blue in the little container would melt, but mm, no, nah, all good. We're at uh, 4 minutes and 13 seconds. Uh, still going good and still going strong. I've got to hold this bastard down because it otherwise it vibrates away, but uh, yeah, nah, still going, all good. Okay. We're nearly at the end of the first experiment, so this should be interesting. Around six minutes so far. Coming up to the end. There it is. Six minutes and 40 seconds on the first run. Quite happy with that. Pretty economical, really. Six minutes on that much fuel out of a little bottle of uh, nail polish remover. Just in case you're wondering what this bottle was, I had to try and find something that was petrochemical safe. And I thought, well, since uh, it's got paint solvent in there, that should do it. Righto, righto, I know this experiment has many flaws in it, but geez, give me a break, I'm not a full-on laboratory here, so anyway, these two big-ass magnets I pulled out of the microwave oven, <sighs> we've put them in opposing poles, and as you can see, the hose has no crush whatsoever, so they're just balancing there, held by my real primitive style of uh, uh, ties, I guess you could call them, made from tie wire, so now we're going to try and run the fuel uh, the same level, so I just got to top that up back to the same. I'll film it topped up to the same, and uh, we're going to see if there's a difference. I'm looking for 20% increase in time length. That's what I'm looking for, according to all these physics and scientist professionals on uh, YouTube. They're guaranteeing me that there's a minimum of 20% increase, and the motor should run better. Technically, I mean, it runs pretty good, as you've seen, but... <sighs> Yeah, righto. The uh, fuel maximizer for a car, uh, you get it in this little box here with some instructions. And uh, they're quite powerful. Uh, I start this when a friend told me that he was, uh, he had uh, one liter gain for 100 kilometers. It's a magnetic fuel saver device. It can save your fuel to 35%. Okay, so <laughs> resuming the experiment here in the uh, makeshift lab down under. Got the stopwatch going. As you can see, been running now for 19 seconds. And the only conditions that have changed in this laboratory are these magnets on the fuel line. Been running now for 2 minutes and uh, 55 seconds, coming up to the 3 minute mark. Oh, here we are. Still running. There's the magnets. Uh, 
the wife's clothes, basket, trolley. Uh, same RPMs. Yeah, we're still going. Yeah, 4 minutes 33 seconds. There's the magnets. Uh, yeah, this will be interesting. Uh, it's going to blow your mind away, I reckon. Yeah, 6 minutes and 2 seconds. We're kind of coming up to the end of it. Just like I thought. I'll call that right there. There's the time, folks. I'll just kill the motor. Okay, turn the fuel valve off. There's the time. Yeah, it's conclusive. Yep, it doesn't fucking work. Just for some of you good folk out there, I did have duct tape on here, you'll notice. In the previous scenes, uh, I'm just pulling all this apart now. Show the integrity of this laboratory, even though it's pretty much rooted. Okay, so there's the fuel. I'm about to pull this apart to show you that I actually did have that fuel line. Damn you, washer. So as you can see, there's the fuel line connected. Inlet to the carby. That's all closed now. There we go. Pull that off. There you go. You saw the fuel running. So, no questions there, really. Okay, so I got the original fuel line reconnected back there. And uh, that should stop any fuel leaks, I hope. And, uh, yeah, so test mm, complete. So, if you're trying to save pesos, ring it, whatever the fuck your currency may be, this ain't the way to do it. These big-ass magnets aren't going to cut it. Now, it doesn't really matter neodymium or fuck it, whatever they're called. These things, you know. It's magnetism. It's sorcery to the people still. No one knows what it is. They know it emits a, an energy field. Some people call it a force field, but it's the... Uh, we, we had a great racing car driver here in Australia called Peter Brock. Now, this guy came up with this uh, uh, controversial box, I guess you could say it. Used crystals and a magnet and magnets to align molecules for the car. Now, the controversial device at the center of the split between the racing legend, Peter Brock, and Holden is set to make a comeback. How? It doesn't even work. There was 500 of these VL Commodores delivered to uh, Peter Brock, I guess you could say, and only 173 were uh, fitted. And um, <clears throat> yeah, they, they've become quite a collector's item, I believe.